Miss Bliss has sniffed out a collection of assorted items, and she's particularly keen on a double-ended silver-mounted scent bottle from 1879. Silver is making really strong money, and bearing in mind it comes with a whole load of other pieces, I think I might have to really stick my neck out for this one. 433. Assorted items, 80, 5, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200 now. At 190 pound, I'm a left at 190, 200, 200, 200. That's mine, 200. I better hope I can get quite a lot of money for the other items. Well, you can say that again, including fees, she pays 243 pounds 20. Now, in the Victorian period, you couldn't go out and buy ready-made scent in bottles like you do today. You would buy your bottle, a real luxury item, and then you'd take it to the chemist or the perfumier to get your chosen scent and fill it up. This one is great for perfume bottle collectors because it's in fantastic original condition. No chips to the glass, no dents to the silver. The only catch is, all this comes with it. Stick. And our silver surfer doesn't stop there. Two lots later is a silver sugar caster dated at 1937. Five, 80. Add 80 pounds to the back now, then at 80 pounds you all sure. And that's hers as well, £97.28 including commission, and her visit last night has now paid off. There's only so many things you can get from a photograph or from looking online. Seeing it in the flesh, you can gauge how heavy it is, if it's silver, which is crucial, what the condition's like. And also, you can really study that hallmark and see how clear that is because some collectors like a really crisp, clear hallmark and these are really clear. It's a really good, solid, heavy, clean example. And if you look inside, I don't think it's ever been used. Mmm, someone's feeling happy. Right, you'll remember Kate bought a lot more silver as well and she's brought it all to central London. I've brought all my silver pieces to show one specialist buyer, Daniel Bexfield, because he certainly knows his stuff. Now, he may only buy one piece. We might buy the lot. Let's see how we get on. Well, Daniel has a quick look at what's on offer, but he's only interested in the sugar caster, the scent bottle and a christening cup that was part of the same job lot. The sugar caster it's a nice gauge in good condition. I think it's maybe 37, it somewhere around It looks that sort there. of date. Yes. And that with a little gentle ha cleaning by hand, that's going to look lovely. On the other hand, we've got something very decorative here. We've got the christening mug, and you've got a date of 1866. Mm -hmm. There'll be a lot of people who don't want to buy it because it has initials in it. Now, that's lovely because... Have you got hallmarks on this? Yes, we have oh, hallmarks you have on that. Victorian. So very late Victorian, yeah. yes. And what's interesting about this, because it looks very, very plain, and being Victorian, if you imagine, most of the Victorian things were really heavily decorated, which was the fashion. At the time, this would have been really, really modern-looking, really designerish, if you like. For, mm. you know. And obviously, you have scent on this side, and this side would be smelling salts. Let's take the sugar caster to start yep. with. I was hoping for somewhere like 220, Are something you? like that. And tell me what you were thinking about this. The mug, I'd be happy with 100 pounds. Okay. The scent bottle, yeah. however, I think is a really nice quality piece. Mm -hmm. I was hoping for around the 320 mark. Okay. If you're able to do that at 200, I'd be really happy with that. The mug, I'm happy at 100 pounds. I think that's You'd be more than fair with that. And we've got the scent bottle. How about, because we've got really round figures at the moment. We've got mm. 200, we've got 100. Mm -hmm. What have you made that 300? I'm more than happy. Well, that's a ton of money. Let's go through this in order as well so it doesn't get complicated. The sugar caster doubles its money. The profit is £102.72. And then there's the assorted collection. Kate sells the bits Daniel didn't want to an antiques dealer in Oxford for £40. Add that to the money for the scent bottle and cup, and Kate makes an even heftier profit, £196.80. Now that is my kind of shop, and what a great way to do business. Eat that, John. <laughs>